Hello everybody, I've been testing lots and lots of things to find the biggest time savers when it comes to doing your hair. So that's what today's video is all about. I've got the fastest hair dryer, the best blow drying tool, um, lots of other things, exciting things. Well, not lots. I've got five things all together because five seems to be the magic number, doesn't it? So let's get started. Let's not waste any time. First big time saver, um, a good hair towel. Now this one's from Aquis and it's made of special fibres that kind of wick away the water from your head. So uh, it's just about getting that excess water away before you start to dry it with a hair dryer or anything like that. I let mine dry naturally um, and it's even useful for that because it just means that it takes most of the water away and I can just let it down and then it dries sort of wavy. But if you're the type of person who's always in a rush and you normally get a towel and kind of rub it all over to hurry your drying up, then that's not actually that great for your hair. So it's better just to have a really, really absorbent specialist hair towel, wrap it around tightly, and I can feel that already there's a lot more moisture in this towel than there would be in a usual towel. And then when it comes to hair dryers, I've tried so many different hair dryers. Um, and they vary enormously. I mean, sometimes I go to people's houses and they've got the kind of ones that you get in hotel bathrooms that just go, and you could be there for about a good hour or two hours with something like that, trying to dry your hair if it's long or if you've got a lot of hair. So you really want something that's very, very fast and powerful. Obviously be careful with it. And if you've got small children, then you don't want them using something that gets very, very hot. But this one I found is brilliant. Um, before this one, now where is it? The Babyliss one is very, very good as well. I'll link to that below. I've used that for years, but I was doing some research into the most powerful ones, and this one just was brilliant. It's the Parlux 385 Lite, and it doesn't feel too heavy in the hand. I mean, it's not like as light as a piece of paper or anything like that, but it's pretty good going. And um, very, very powerful and very hot. are blow drying your hair you might want to look into one of these time-saving um, potions that speed up your blow dry this is called free shape by KMS and this one I think is really really good just shake it together and then you spray it onto your towel dried hair as a last kind of step before you start blow drying and it just helps to protect it but it speeds it up at the same time and it really does work actually I thought that it'd be a bit of a gimmick gives it a really sleek look and that has dried a lot faster than if I hadn't used the spray so when you do it over the whole head it saves you quite a few minutes. My ultimate blow drying tool though which I much prefer using to a hair dryer and a hairbrush. I did a video on this years and years ago it's the Babyliss Big Hair. Is it called Big Hair? It might be called Big Volume actually. I have to look that up. Um, but I did a video on it which I had to delete because I used basically a whole Duran Duran song in its entirety before YouTube got kind of all um, rightly so funny about music rights. Um, so I thought I'd give you another little demo. She's got one switch, turns the heat and the air on, and then these here rotate the brush so that it gives that salon kind of blow dry finish, but you don't actually have to use a separate brush and hair dryer. I think that this is absolutely genius. It's probably the best hair tool I think that I've used. Now I'll give you a little tip with this. Once you start rotating the brush, if you're doing it right, it basically pulls on the hair and if you let it go away with itself, it'll go brrrr and go like that up your hair and then it will tangle. So it's kind of a, a battle of the wills, if you like. You've got to keep it really strong and taut um, so that it doesn't gobble all your hair up and that's got to keep going round. So I'll show you what I mean. Look, if I, see what happened there? If I don't hold it taut and it all tangles up, but if you hold it taut and really pull down, then it's turning, I hope you hear me, it's turning and kind of drying the hair at the same time, but it's not tangling. I don't know whether you can see that there. It takes a little bit of practice, 
but once you get it right, you'll probably have a few accidents and a few um, near misses. All you need to make sure is that you know where the off button is, so that if it does go all the way up to a scalp, you don't hold it there and burn yourself. But look, once you get used to it, and that action, it just really beautifully adds shape to the end of your hair. If you're good, you can do the underneath way. But I'm just showing you this because it's kind of easier to demonstrate. I honestly don't know why you wouldn't have one of these if you blow dry your hair on a regular basis. I haven't finished blow drying it yet, it's still quite damp at the top, but um, it just gives this beautiful finish to the hair. So that is brilliant. Um, I shall find out what it's actually called and put that in the information box below. And then final thing, obviously I can't use it at the moment because I've got still slightly damp hair, but dry shampoo, the ultimate, ultimate hair time saver. This is my one, it's Colab, and it's completely sheer and invisible, as it says on the tin. And if you have day old hair, two day old hair, three day old hair, I don't think I've ever had four day, I probably have, but not very often, four day old hair, spray it in the roots, completely no white residue, massage it in, and then you have a little bit of lift and it absorbs the grease. You can either brush it out if you want to, but you don't really need to because I quite like the fact that it gives it a little bit of lift if your roots have gone a bit kind of limp and disgusting. Sometimes I use it even if I've got quite freshly washed hair just because it gives a bit of texture in the roots as well. Um, but I've written about this before on my website obviously so I'll link to that underneath. And also wherever you are in the world, uh, I've done an updated list of stockists for you and that's on my website too so I'll link directly to that because it's launched into the States now. I know a lot of people we're looking for it in the States, it's at American Eagle. But again, links below. And I'll do a video soon as well, because lots of people are asking how you actually use dry shampoo. Lots of places in the world don't really have dry shampoo, and so you don't know how to use it at all or what it's for. So I'm gonna do uh, a more in-depth video on that pretty soon, so watch out for that. And those are my five biggest hair time savers. Hope that you've enjoyed that, and I shall see you next time.